Can we build an AI SaaS from complete scratch in less than 10 minutes? I'm not sure, but I'm going to give it my absolute best shot. And I promise you, by you watching this really quick 10 minute video, you are going to learn a tremendous amount on how you can create an AI SaaS in the shortest and quickest amount of time and start getting customers as soon as possible. So no one likes a long intro. We're just going to jump straight into it. Now we're going to start with the fundamentals. These are three things that we need straight away in order to get customers. We need an idea and a name for our AI SaaS, right? I'm gonna be walking you through this entire process as well. We need to find a logo, and we also need to build a website. I'm gonna try and do this in, in literally the next two minutes. So what I've done is I've gone onto ChatGPT, and I've asked ChatGPT, I'm looking to help local businesses save time by automating tasks. Can you give me five ideas for an AI automation app? slash SaaS, right? And it has successfully given me five wonderful ideas. And this is something you can do right away after watching this video. So the first one is an AI appointment scheduling and customer management app, which I think is a really solid idea. Obviously appointments and getting customers is something that all businesses are going to need for the rest of time, right? It's, you know, something they fundamentally need. Now, the second thing, right? that it's given me is an AI powered marketing assistant. I also like this because obviously every business wants to make more money. So it's something you're always going to be able to sell. The third thing is an AI driven task. So yeah, more for management, customer service, uh, payment and billing. So all good ideas. However, for this app, I think we're going to go with the second one. So we're going to be building an AI powered marketing assistant, which is super exciting. It's going to be able to automate, um, yeah, social media posts. It's going to give us ideas. Um, I mean, it's going to give my clients ideas and a lot more. So what we have done is we have basically asked ChatGPT down here that I like number two, which is the AI powered marketing assistant. And yeah, I've told it that I'm going to be building the application on bolt.new, right? I'm going to be walking you through this entire process in a second. And I basically just asked ChatGPT for an amazing prompt um, that has a purple background and stuff like that, right? And as you can see, it has given me an amazing in-depth prompt that we can then go over to the website, which is bold.new. If you haven't heard of it, it's completely free. It's been trending like crazy at the moment for a reason. It is insane. Um, and we can very easily just copy and paste the prompt that ChatGPT has given us into bold.new. However, I want to make it a bit shorter to not confuse bold.new. So we've gone something like this, right? So you can very easily copy this in or maybe just copy a part of it in. So I'm literally doing this as, you know, I'm recording. So, you know, it's not fake. And what we're actually going to do is before we do that, we're going to take a screenshot of bolt.new because I actually really like the user interface that they use, right? So you can see here that if we just go like this and just uh, crop that and then add it to photos, the reason we've done this is because I want it to have a similar concept where my customers who have local businesses can come onto my website and very easily just put in a prompt, just like what we've done with bold.new or ChatGPT, right? It's the new wave. It's amazing and it looks really aesthetic. So we, have, we can very easily just click on the file and then upload it. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, we've uploaded the photo and the prompt to Bolt and it's going to start creating a website with code. Look how insane this is. We've literally one prompt. Now, whilst it's doing that to save even more time, we're going to go onto Canva and we're going to look at some, uh, yeah, logos. So honestly, it doesn't really matter. I think, um, I think this one's pretty good. So yeah, we can very easily just customize this template. We can go back onto ChatGPT and we can just ask it, um, or not ask, but we can say, give me a name for this tool, right? Let's just call it a tool. And you can see that obviously in the meantime, whilst we've just done that, Bolt has literally cooked up a uh, landing page, which I don't think is too bad for the first like time doing it. Now, obviously we're going to refine it. So it's even better, but you can see the progress we're making in literally four minutes so far. Um, okay. I think I've got the one we're going to go with number 17 creative pulse. I think it does a really good job of explaining what it's about in terms of yeah, helping local businesses be creative and get their names out there. So yeah, we're going to go with creative pulse. Um, so what you would need to do is now go to a tool called Netlify. Um, because if we were to deploy this, meaning making it live to the internet, you basically need a domain. Now, instead of going to GoDaddy, you can very easily just go to um, Netlify and you basically need to just get a domain 
in and deploy to Netlify, which is what you would do by clicking on deploy, deploy, it is going to give you a URL in which you can yeah, use as like a test, I guess. As you can see, if we were to click on this, you know, it's going to take us to our app, right? And this is where you can test it. And obviously you can go back onto Bolt and refine this even more. So if you wanted something different as the copywriting or the headline, something different here, and obviously you wanted better outputs, you're going to have to trial this more than I am right now. I'm just trying to get, you know, your inspiration across to, um, to help you be creative and understand how I would create an app really quickly. So far, we have gotten the idea and name really well. We have um, also built the website. In terms of the logo, we can very quickly do that on Canva. We were about to do that, um, but we can just, yeah, call it Creative Pulse, just like that. Obviously, we might want a CP in, in the logo, but it doesn't matter. You can just uh, download it. You can even download it as a transparent background, and then you can actually go back onto Bolt. And what you could do is you could tell it to include your exact logo just by very easily um, attaching the file. And obviously, it would include it at the top. Okay, for the back end and fulfillment, what we've done is gone back onto bold.new and we've basically given it a bunch more instructions for what we're actually looking for. So I've basically told it that, yeah, I want it to give really good content ideas for salon owners and make the whole UI, so the user interface, like directed at salon owners. So it's gonna resonate and it's gonna, yeah, basically build that connection. So you can see here that I've basically asked it for um, five different content ideas for my salon as an example, you can see that it has given us those content ideas. Now the goal of this app is what I want it to do is whenever you click on the one that you like to give you more information of more scripts on how you can actually create that content um, really easily and effectively and even write out the scripts. So you can see how this could be a super like powerful application that we could easily scale to 10K per month you know, 50K per month, even 100K per month, if you do the marketing correctly. Um, and obviously if you niche down enough. So yeah, you can see that this is really, really solid. Um, and obviously, yeah, after you've made the changes, you would then just deploy it. Um, you can even select which one you want. So email campaigns, and it will write actual email campaigns for offers for that salon, like for you or for them, if you know what I mean. So that's wild because they do like Black Friday, they do a bunch of, you know, offers every month whether it's a discount, and this app could literally write their email campaigns for them, their seasonal promotions, social media content, ad scripts. It's wild what you can do in 2025, which is coming up, and it's gonna get even crazier. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already, um, because I'm gonna be uploading some bangers on this channel that you are not gonna to wanna to miss. So hit the subscribe button, it's free, and it helps me out more than you know, and obviously the more subs you have, the more um, effort and money I'll put into my channel to give you better videos like what I'm doing right now. Um, so let's talk about the final thing because we have successfully, you know, improved the back end and fulfillment. We basically now just need to market it, which I think is the funnest part. Um, so what we have done is if we go up here, you know, I've come in preparation for this um, to try and save time. You can basically see that I've given ChatGPT the prompt of saying, now give me a marketing plan to help me get customers for my new SaaS. I want you to follow the rule of 200. If you don't know what the rule of 200 is, it's basically something that we have in our community where we do a hundred of a push marketing activity. So typically outbound, right? We're pushing our offer on people. And this is daily by the way. So yeah, it's gonna show you an example. And then we'd have a hundred minutes of a pull activity. So that could be a hundred minutes of creating content. And then obviously the first one is a hundred um, activities of a push marketing. So that would be a hundred DMs. Um, but when you combine the hundred DMs with the hundred minutes of content creation, that allows you to get more attention to be able to get customers or clients for your agency, SaaS, whatever you are selling online. Um, so you can see that it has given us more of a marketing plan. So what we need to do, um, it's basically given us, yeah, 10 ideal customers that we need to identify in the market. So I need to go out and find 10 um, salon owners who are making or local businesses, you don't have to niche down as much, but yeah, making over 10K per month um, in revenue, but struggle with market marketing consistency. So yeah, build a lead list. Um, and then the second thing that I need to do today would be uh, doing personalized and yeah, automated outreach. So we're doing uh, email campaigns. So I guess 50 emails and then 50 DMs, right? Um, and then obviously 20 follow-ups and then 10 and then 10, so that equals 100, right? So that is what we need to do for push, which is also known as out, like outbound. Um, and then for inbound, 
we have poor marketing. So yeah, we need to create a profile on LinkedIn, Instagram and Facebook. Um, so yeah, you can literally do this in one day. Um, and then yeah, create educational videos free per week just to build up some consistency. So something like struggling to post. So basically just what your software is about. And this applies to any business. You would make content about what your ICP. So the ideal client profiles that you should have identified, what they struggle with the most, you would make content around that. And you can even offer them a gift card to get on appointments. So you can ask them questions and gather more market research, or you can even ask ChatGPT what that niche struggles with the most. Um, but you can see here that it even gives you the tasks. Um, and you know, it says you can do this in like seven weeks. You could literally do all of this in a day. Like no, no joke. You can see how quickly I'm going through this, right? You can build your LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube in a day, right? You can build the bolts in 10 minutes. You can do everything so much quicker now. Okay. Apologies. I think my software cut out, but nonetheless, the final thing that I got it to do was basically give me 20 unique one sentence follow-up sequence. So you can see here that it's literally given me 20 follow-ups that I can then use if people don't respond to my emails. Because in the B2B space, it takes five touch points on average to get a prospect to respond. So you're gonna need a bunch of follow-ups. Don't th think of it as annoying, think of it as persistence. I only hire people who do follow-ups. So yeah, take that as you will, but um, hopefully you've gained value in this video. We've gone through the entire process. Now, if you want me to do a more in-depth version of this, just comment below, like, and yeah, definitely subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Like 70% of you aren't subscribed, so I don't know what you're doing. And if you want more help and you're serious about using AI and automation in 2025, join the community. I don't know what you're doing. Get yourself in there. We've got by far the fastest growing community on the planet, in my, in my opinion, specifically for AI automation and client acquisition. So yeah, it's free to start for now. The price may be going up, but yeah, hop in and I'll see you in there. Take it easy and have an amazing day. I'll put some videos up here that you can watch as well. Um, and yeah, take it easy.